everyone, it's Meg, and today I'm going to be doing my July K-pop haul. So this is everything that I received that is K-pop related in the month of July. And I got quite a bit. <laughs> um, some things I did plan to get, some things were kind of impulsive buys, um, but really, really happy. I do have uh, a lot of stuff coming in August, which I'm really excited about. But yes, we'll just go over everything that I got this month. So let's get started. So the first purchase that I have here is All oh My Girls Japan second album. So I do have all of the versions. Um, I honestly could not tell you right now which one's A, B, and C. Um, but there are two CD DVD versions and one regular CD version. So this is one of the limited versions here. And then this is another limited version, CD, DVD. And then this is the regular CD version. And yes, I have all three here. Um, oh My Girl is the only group that I do collect all versions for, for the Japanese releases, just because they are my old girl group. Um, I would similarly do so for Shiny and BTS, but Shiny has such an extensive Japanese catalog that it's kind of intimidating to think about trying. And for BTS, they just put out so much stuff all the time that I just, there's no, there's no budget for that. Um, but oh my girl, they're, they're kind to my wallet, so I can kind of make these um, kind of more expensive purchases for them. I'm um, very excited to hear that they're having a comeback so soon with their special album, so I will be pre-ordering that once it goes up for pre-order immediately because they are my babies, so yes, really, really excited to have these. And then the second purchase I have here is Ailey's Butterfly. I absolutely, absolutely adore this album. I love Ailey so much. It is so beautiful. I would definitely recommend, please listen to this album if you haven't heard it yet. Please support Ailey. Um, buy her album. It is wonderful and beautiful. The photo book is stunning. And she just really brings it every time. And she can honestly do any kind of genre, any kind of music. Her voice is so versatile and so beautiful. And yeah, I really wish she was able to go on music shows. I'm kind of angry <laughs> about that. But I just, I want to show Ailey all the love because it has been a minute since she's had to come back so I just hope she feels all the love and support from all of us and again really 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 happy to have this album definitely recommend that you purchase it if you can and very excited for hopefully a future Ailey come back sometime soon it was quite a moment between um her last album and this one so very 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 excited to have this and to listen to it I absolutely love the duet with Chen and hopeful that another comeback will not be as far away and I will definitely purchase that if given the chance because she is one of my absolute favorite soloists so yes really happy to have that and then my next purchase here is CLC's Question. So this is one of the two albums that I was looking for my whole life <laughs> um, to finish off my CLC collection. I purchased it on Mercari Japan through um, Japonica and it was incredibly, incredibly reasonably priced. It was about $10, um, 10 US dollars, uh, the album. So yeah, I definitely am just so over the moon to have this. It did come with the bookmark, which which was nice um, but yeah I've been looking for this for quite a moment it would always go for like 40 or 50 dollars sometimes more if it was sealed um, and it just wasn't in the budget at that price so I'm really really grateful to have found a seller who was selling this album for such a great price on Makari Japan and very grateful to Japonica for purchasing this for me and helping me finish off my CLC collection and then keeping with the CLC theme, I finally completed my Korean collection by purchasing Nuclear. So um, similarly to Question, I did get this from Makari Japan through uh, Japonica Market, through the proxy buying site. And I would definitely recommend if you are looking for rare out of print items to look on um, from Japan, to look on Makari Japan, look on Zen Market. You can find a lot of great deals from a lot of good sellers. And then, um, yeah, I would definitely recommend going that way. It was, both of these albums were about $10 um, sh shipped with domestic shipping to Japan. And then with shipping to me, um, probably around 30 dollars or so um total which was an absolute steal of a deal for both of these albums as they are out of print 
Um, this one did not come with a photo card, but absolutely don't need a photo card. I just wanted to complete my CLC collection because I do love them and adore them. I really wish um, me wasn't just a digital single. I would have loved to purchase something physical for that. But yes, really, really happy to finally say that my Korean CLC collection is complete and very excited and hopeful for a comeback soon so I can have some new CLC content. And then we will stick with Cube. So I have Pentagon's ninth mini album, Summer. Please listen to this album. It is so good. <laughs> and it is so fun. And yeah, if you can, buy this album. It is so beautiful. And the songs are so great. And the boys are so talented. And vote for Pentagon. I'm going to say that every single time they're in a, in a video. Vote for Pentagon and support them. I absolutely adore this release. I think it's just so playful, so fun. It's very them. Um, my favorite Pentagon songs um, are more of the playful Pentagon songs. And yeah, this, this absolutely does it for me. So very, very, very happy to have this in my hands. Very excited um, to keep watching their stages. They always do such a great job um, if you can see them on tour I would definitely recommend you check them out I won't be able to go because I don't live anywhere near where they're doing any dates but if you are interested in going to a k-pop concert I would definitely say check them out if they're coming somewhere near you um, they are amazingly talented they are just wonderful boys and their their vocals and their dance and everything about them is great so definitely recommend you do listen to this album and if you can see the live do it for me because <laughs> I can't and I would love to but yes I'm very very happy to have this um, and I really want to get their Japanese stuff but I'll have to see how that goes because there's a lot a lot a lot of stuff that's happening but that is in a plan hopefully in the future sometime don't know if this year but at some point I would like to get their Japanese um, the Japanese releases because I do adore them so yes that is Pentagon and then next up, we have Purple Bex. So this is Purple Bex Crystal Ball. It is their debut. I absolutely adore this. I think they are just so cute and adorable and talented. Um, I'm just going to open this in case you did not see my unboxing of this album because I think it's really cool. So this is the 500 limited edition. It did come with a signed photo card. And this album was signed by all of the ladies in Triple Beck. So I think that's really cool to have a signed album um, for the debut. I think that that's really, really awesome. I know that they did another print run. Unsure if those albums are signed. Um, not sure if they come with a photo card, but I don't know. I really, really liked Crystal Ball, um, and I've been following them on Twitter for a moment, so I was very hyped for their debut. So they definitely did not disappoint at all, and I'm excited to see what comes up for them in the future. Excited to see what kind of music they make. Um, I will definitely continue to support them. Um, I love girl groups, so anytime a new girl group comes out, I do have to check them out because girl groups are my uh, lifeline. So yes, absolutely adore Purple Bug and cannot wait to see what they have up their sleeves next. And then another one of my lovely ladies, I have Chung Ah's Flourishing. Absolutely, absolutely killer, killer, killer album. Yes, definitely recommend that you pick this up. Chica, oh my god. It is so good. The photo book is gorgeous. The album is great. Chunga is one of the most amazing performers, honestly. My dream subunit would be Chunga, Sunmi, and Taemin. Like, if they ever did a subunit, like a Triple H type subunit, I think I would fall over and die. <laughs> I would be so happy. Um, Chunga is definitely one of my favorite soloists. Um, I absolutely adore her, and I'm so proud of her. And I will continue to collect her and support her in everything that she does. I think she's amazingly crazy talented. So really, really happy to have this. It's just, it's just wonderful. And definitely recommend that you check it out if you can. Buy this album if you can. Stream her. Support her. Um, yeah, I just absolutely adore her. And yeah, I would love a comeback all the time from her. My wallet would not, but I could not get enough of Chunga's music. So very, very happy to have it. The packaging is gorgeous on this album. I cannot say enough. And Chunga is a blonde. Stunning. So yes, really, really happy to have this. And now we will get to the BTS part of my haul so I'll show you guys the things that you 
have seen and then I'll show you guys the things that I haven't shown the more impulsive purchases um, so I did get I do believe this is version C of lights boy with love their Japanese single here I did get the version with the photo book as I am a photo book fanatic and I could not get all the versions because they keep putting out too much stuff so I pre-ordered memories 2018 and then they put out the deluxe version of the soundtrack and I'm just I'm just big hit wants all my money but it's it's not it's not fine but I mean it's there so really really happy to have this and I absolutely love lights the music video was so cute and the photo book is so cute and I do want to support BTS so I do collect one version of each of their Japanese releases I can do that um, collecting the four versions and then like the like the limited ABC, the regular, the fan club, it's a lot. It's a lot of stuff. But so I can't do all that. Um, but I do get one version of each of the Japanese releases of theirs because I do love their Japanese stuff. It's just they put out so much content all the time that there's just no time or money especially money, <laughs> to be able to get all of the Japanese stuff, especially when I do collect for other groups. If it was just for BTS, I could probably manage, but because I do love so many groups, I can't, but I'm really, really, really happy to have this, and I will continue to support all of their Japanese releases. Definitely recommend that you check this out. Um, it is it is great. And then the other thing that you guys have seen is the BTS World soundtrack, so this is really cute. I am still playing the game. <laughs> I don't remember what level I'm on. Level 30 something maybe? I don't know. I'm stuck on story, the levels in the story. I'm stuck on 6, I think 612. No, 614. I'm stuck on 614. I can't move past it. I don't have good, um, the, the, the blue and the green cards. I, I just don't have enough stats and I can't level up fast enough and it's depressing. Um, but I am still playing this game. It's fun. I like the card collecting aspect of it. I think it's cute. So yes, excited to have this and Heartbeat, that music video, one of my absolute favorite, um, ballad tracks from BTS. I think it's a gorgeous, gorgeous track. All of these tracks I absolutely adore. Cannot believe they put out a deluxe edition right after I bought this I'm just so sad <laughs> I'm so sad at me um, but I, I, I perhaps I did get it through a group order I have no self-control sometimes so I did buy it through a group order so that will be coming um, eventually so I'm excited for that I don't usually buy through group orders that much but sometimes I feel it like I don't know I want I want to see you know who I get it'll still be a surprise to me who I get um, because you don't always know in the group order um, who you'll end up getting. A lot of the times it's based off of when you pay and then all of that stuff. So it'll still be fun and yeah, really excited. And I absolutely adore the soundtrack. The game is fun. Um, so I would like to eventually finish the story. But yeah, my stats are crap for <laughs> the level I'm on. So it probably won't happen anytime soon. Um, I did get the pre-order gift in this. So it did come with this luggage tag of Jiminy and it is so cute so yes so so happy to have this cannot believe big hit wants to take all my money actually i can um so i have four more bts things kind of impulsive buys so i i saw this at barnes and noble and i didn't even know when it was coming out i knew that they were putting out uno and i knew they were putting out the dolls um i probably won't get the dolls i don't have any room for dolls i don't collect dolls i collect like the funko pops so when bts came out with those that was okay um because i do collect those but i don't really collect dolls per se so i wouldn't really have any use for them but I love Uno. <laughs> I love little games like this. So yeah, I did pick this up. It was about, if you can see, it was $6.99. Um, I don't see it on the website anymore. I know some Barnes and Noble shops might still be selling it. I know it's up for pre-order. Um, if you live in the U.S., I would try to pre-order through like Barnes and Noble or another local shop. If you pre-order on Weeply, I think it's like $12. I think the last time I saw it was $12, which is almost double what I paid. Um, so I would definitely recommend that if you are an international fan. Um, Weeply or another seller might be better for you. Um, but it's really cute. If you like Uno, if you like card games, things like that, it's a cute little thing to add to your collection. Um, I got it because it was reasonable.
reasonably priced. If it was like $25 for an Uno set, I probably wouldn't have done it. Um, but I mean, $7 is fine. So I'm really happy to have it. I do like playing card games with friends. So it's, it's, it's a cute little purchase. Uh, no regrets at all. So yeah, if you are living in the U.S., um, I think it's up for pre-order. I don't know when they start shipping, um, but I would check your local Barnes & Noble. I would give them a call, see if they have some in stock, because I know some people were also picking them up in stores. So, yes, definitely happy to have it. Can't believe I actually bought it, <laughs> but, I mean, it's cute, and I like, you know, and I like BTS, so it all works out. And then these are definitely my impulse buys. So I live near a Uniqlo and I went out with a friend and I went inside Uniqlo and I go in Uniqlo all the time because they have really cute clothes. And I saw the BT21 shirts and listen guys, I have like two BT21 things. I have a cookie pen, which is like super cute. And I have like this little cookie magnet that I keep like near my computer at work. But I saw these shirts and they were really cute and they had really cute print and they were really soft so I could not stop myself so I said okay I'm gonna get one so I got this one of cookie the pinkish tough bunny shirt it is so cute it is so soft um, I have worn this shirt already very very cute and it doesn't come off like super pink right now with my cam um, camera but it's very pink and very adorable so I saw this shirt and I'm like okay we're doing it we're doing it right now we're gonna buy it it's one shirt and I think it was like 14 or 15 dollars so I'm like that's a reasonable price for a shirt let's do it so I picked up this shirt and then <laughs> surprisingly because my self-control is at a negative 45 I was like you know what there's this shirt too, so I'm gonna get this shirt. So I got Koya and I have two, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna get this shirt. It's really cute, it's nice and blue. Um, at my job, I am around um, younger kids sometimes, so it's like a really work-friendly shirt. So I'm like, okay, these are work-friendly shirts too. So it's like an investment when I go to work and I can wear like t-shirts on specific days. So it's like, okay, it's really soft and blue. I love blue, we're gonna get this shirt. So I got that shirt. And then, and then I was like, you know what, I'm going to walk away, I'm going to walk away, and I'm going to go check out, and then I saw this shirt, and I had to get, I had to get, I had to get Shooky. I had to, because I love Shooky, because I love Namji Kook, because Namji and Yoongi and Jungkook are my biases, so I bought all three of them, and I wasn't going to buy anything that day, but I bought all three of the shirts, um, quick review on them, they're great. The material is really soft. I've worn all three of them already. I've washed them. The print stays. They're very comfortable, very breathable, especially if you live like in a hot or humid climate like I do. Um, I just, I absolutely adore them. I think they're just really cute, um, really fun. And I love, this is probably my favorite design. I had to get it because it's so fun. So yes, I wasn't planning on getting anything and I walked out with three shirts. That is, that's army culture. It's like, I'm going to go and buy nothing and then you walk out and money is gone from your bank account. But I think it was only $15 and I went to a physical Uniqlo so I didn't have to pay shipping or anything. So I'm going to pretend like that makes it better for me <laughs> and my wallet for doing it but no regrets um again I don't really collect like non-album photo booky dvd stuff but sometimes if I see something and I like it and there's my credit card I'll buy it so I'm really happy to have these they're really cute shirts I did need more casual shirts that I could wear to work I don't have that many so I'm gonna I'm just gonna say that I'm just gonna be like that's the reason why so yes that is everything that I got this month in July I'm very very excited about what is coming in August I did pre-order BTS memories 2018 I'm hoping my oh my girl fan kit ships out this month that would be really really cool to get that soon um I did um pre-order idols Japanese debut both copies of itsy's um debut physical release because the um it's different was only released as a promo and i do have a kind i think i have a haul coming we'll see how it turns out but i'm really excited for it if it does turn out the way i hope so i can't wait to share that with you guys as well so thank you guys so so much for watching and i will see you guys next time bye